University. My responsibility was project leader or the, pro the senior project engineer. We began to work on the design of a microchip that, when it was completed, was 0.75 millimeters in diameter, 7 millimeters long. It was the size of one-fourth of a grain of rice. Again, I want to say that I was not a Christian and there were no Christians there. They said they wanted this to have a power source and be able to emit a signal. And they told us they wanted us to use lithium as a battery source. Lithium's used in watch batteries, it's used in uh, heart pacemaker batteries, it's used in a lot of places. I designed into this microchip a little charging circuit that would charge that battery. This sounds like a lot of technical things coming together, but if you'll bear with me one minute, you'll see what God has laid out about this microchip. When we discovered that we needed to know, we needed to be able to charge that battery, I needed a temperature change, a change in temperature, to cause current to flow through that little charging circuit that would charge the battery. So I began to we began to investigate and find out where in the body does the temperature change the most rapidly. We spent over a million dollars in taxpayer money, and when the results came back, there were the information, uh, there was a lot of information. We divided it up amongst three teams, and then came back together with that information. It was determined that there were two places in the body that were ideal for the microchip. One was just below the hairline on the forehead. Every mother checks their child's temperature right here. So we could have paid the mothers a million dollars and saved the... I never saw a mother check their child's temperature on their ankle. Always right here. The other place was the hand, the right hand preferred, because most people are right-handed. This didn't bother me, and it didn't bother anybody else on the team. The hand seemed a good place. Nobody wanted it here. And so the design work, everything was completed, the microchip was done. You are seeing it now on some of the Discovery Channel presentations. Uh, uh, there are people who have received it already. It is real. It's not something that's coming way down the road. They gave me a Bible. They told me not to read the book of Revelation. They said the book of Revelation is, uh, is too hard to understand. So I waited, and I didn't read the book of Revelation for quite some time. Then one day I came to Revelation 13, verse 16. And he caused us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. I didn't like what I saw. I went back and looked up the word mark. I went to the Strong's Concordance, and I found that John had used three words for the word mark. Char, char, charagma, charakter, and charax. That was from the Greek. I looked at those words. They talked about a scratch or an etching. They talked about a lot of things. And I said, God, this isn't it. We didn't do it. He said, go to the word for 666. The word is chixastigma. In the Greek, it says to go to 4742 as a cross, the last half of the word chixastigma. And when I looked at what it said, it says stizo, i.e. to stick, to prick, a mark incised or punched into for recognition of ownership. I thought about the little injection tool. The end of it is called an incisor. I began to weep and I began to cry and I said, Oh God, what have we done? I couldn't believe that this lined up with what we had developed. And I began to run from God. I didn't run away from the church, I ran into the church. I tried to do as many things as I could to, to atone for this. But I want to tell you something, as God is my witness here tonight, this got in the way. Money got in the way. I had beautiful homes overlooking the lake. I had, a, I had 
all the things that I wanted, and I ran because of the money. My ability to go and get a quarter million dollars in research money took me away from telling the message. I ran for many years. What I want to tell you is that this is real. The microchip implant is real. Credit cards are failing. They, they can be counterfeited. The new smart card can be counterfeited. They can be stolen, they can be uh, lost. All kinds of things can happen to a card. But you cannot lose your hand. Very quickly they're going to move to this being in the hand. And I tell you as a Christian, you cannot take this. No matter what anybody says, God's Word says you cannot take it. No matter what they try to talk you into, God's Word says don't take it. In Revelation 14, verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. It's very simple. God's Word says to, do not take it. Today there have been over 15,000 babies that have been given the positive identification, the microchip. Many companies are using the microchip as identification in their top-level employees. The Immigration Naturalization Service has a better passport, the human hand. So many of these things are all around us. We talk about the signs of the New World Order. God has spelled out in His Word just exactly what's going on today in the New World Order. Satan, Satan desires to have a one-world government. From the time he fell, he said, I want a one-world government. He wants to replace God. And so we see a government put together by men, a one-world government. The signs of the times are all around us.